After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops is me in jail. And my fingers are ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out this jail tonight. Give me out, just give me out. Being a female in this job, sometimes you have an advantage because a lot of men come through the door and they're agitated. When they realize that they're talking to a female, they tend to bring it down a notch and it makes it easier for us to deal with them. But then again, there are also times when they won't bring it down and when they don't bring it down, we deal with that situation as well. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hi. Oh, God. Hi, Josh. You guys, ow, what was that? It just hit me in the head. Oh, oh, God. Oh, damn, that hurt. Well, quit screwing around. Ow. Oh. Oh. right there, Josh. Ow, oh, damn. Ow, oh, my hand. My hand. Come around. Oh, Get my ground. God. Get a ground. Ow, oh, ow. Ow, my hand. Why are you doing this? Ow, why Get on the ground. Why Straighten are your you, feet out. Why are you doing this? Straighten your why feet out. Why are you doing that? Uh, Listen to me, okay? I'm listening to you. Stay right there. Oh, my God. I'm so much pain. Listen to me. Oh, when God. I get up, when I get up, I don't want you to move, okay? Until you hear that door shut, all right? Okay. All right, stay right there. Okay. Thank you very much for that. So what's his deal? Assault uh, 2, Rob 1. Assault 2, Rob 1. Do you know his victim? Yeah. Basically, it was a drug deal come bad. Okay. Is he high? No. Or is he just, just agitated? No, he was absolutely fine up until. Do you think that it's just like the whole reality thing hit him and he started he getting really agitated? Get or charged until he, the end. Yeah, he didn't like it when he found out that he was going to get charged. Okay. He was all fine when he thought he was going to get released and go back home with his girlfriend. Right. But when that day came through, Okay. So he started acting he's, been, he's been in our custody for four hours. But it was only in the last 10, 15 minutes this happened? 10 minutes, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, you didn't break your knuckle because if you did, you couldn't bend it like that. Josh, I'll tell you what, if you continue to hurt yourself like that, I'm going to put you on a restraint board. I don't want to do that, but if you put me in that position, I will. When, when you calm down, I'm going to explain everything to you, okay? But right now, you're too upset to listen. You can? Can you sit down for me? Okay, Josh. I'm sorry for your No, don't, don't apologize. I'm so sorry. I don't don't apologize. Here. I don't even know why I'm happy like this. Okay. What happened tonight? Where were you at tonight? I went to, to go buy some weed from a friend, and I right. bought it for my mom. I didn't even buy it for myself. I was trying to help my mom out. Okay. And he stole a bag of weed from me, and I'm like, no, please do it tonight. And my mom's going to kill me. And so finally I said, Dude, I have a knife and I'm going to stab you if you don't give it back to me. Mm -hmm. He grabbed the knife and grabbed me and he fell on the ground and he, I guess he scraped his arm with a knife and okay. now I'm in jail. Okay. <laughs> so ridiculous. Okay, well let me explain something to you, Josh. <laughs> if I had a knife and I told you that I was going to stick you with a knife, would that make you a little nervous? Yes, I'm just okay. saying. I okay. understand so, I, what so, I did was wrong, okay. but I shouldn't be in jail for what happened. Josh, anytime you pull a knife on somebody, they're gonna bring you to jail for it. Okay? I don't wanna be in here at all. Okay, you can't change that, Josh. You're here and that's not gonna change. I know. Okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get you something to wear. All right? Some food. I'll get you some food, but I need you to calm down because I, I can't process you while you're this upset. I'm trying, it's just okay. hard. I'm so freaked out right now. Okay. How old are you? I'm 21. Okay, you're 21. I need you to suck it up and start acting like 21, okay? I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten forever. Okay, you, you start working on your part and I'll work on my part, all right? Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Did he say the same thing to you as he said to me in there? I, about how he pulled the knife on the kid and he was yeah. threatening to use it against him and that the guy... Lunged at him? Yeah. Yeah. 
It's a slight difference of accounts, you could say. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Playing marijuana for his mom. Yeah. yeah. It's not his, his first mom. The guy loves his mom. Mm -hmm. Loves his mom. Great. It's not even Mother's Day. Though. No, it's not Mother's Day, but it's getting close to Christmas. Okay. You think you can be able to maintain like you are right now, sitting out with everybody else? Yes. Promise? Promise. Okay. Do you understand why you're here now? Do you understand that I, I by pulling a knife out on somebody, they have to take you to jail? Just the circumstances of I was going to go beat it for my mom, trying mm -hmm. to be nice, trying to make peace with this guy. And right. The circumstances. <laughs> and then he made it get worse, and then you felt you had to pull the knife on him, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I'm not going to try to get you upset again. So when I bring you out of this room, I'm going to start working you through the process, and you'll have about four or five stops to make during that process. So, but I want you to keep this ice on your hands. It's going to help keep the swelling down, which is the same thing that Vicodin's going to do, but you got to keep that on there, okay? All right. All right, why don't you come on out. Step on over to the counter there. Mike, did he have any property? All right. Listen for your name to be called, all right? All right. The reality of a Measure 11 crime is prison time for him, and he's only 21 years old, and he's very concerned about that. He'll go to court on Monday and find out what his fate is, but the chances are he's not going to be released on Monday after he gets arraigned. He'll be here for quite a while. This Tulsa County Jail, we're a 1,704 bed facility. We house everything from people that just couldn't pay their speeding tickets to serial rapists and serial killers. I've been here with Tulsa County Sheriff's Office about 14 months. I work in the booking area. I'm one of the first officers to uh, interact with prisoners as they come in off the streets. I'm not trying to spit. I don't know what you guys are doing to me, man. I'm a animal. I'm a animal, man. To you. You wait till the executive branch gets through. You wait till the executive branch gets through. I'm gonna see every one of you. Man. Subject right there came in. He was pretty intoxicated. He got kicked out of the bar tonight. Who are you, man, touching me? Take these handcuffs off, and then if you can abuse me some more, take them off, man. Let's go. Touch me again. Take these handcuffs off, and then you touch me. You're a bull lab. Yes. You're always gonna be there, man. We need a taser, maybe. I've got one. What happened with this guy? We had a uh, call at a local bar. Apparently, he was fighting with security at, at that bar. When I pulled up, placed him in custody. Other officers showed up. He was combative. He kicked at Officer McGee while he was trying to pat him down for weapons. We pulled a knife out of his pocket. I've encountered him before. He's just easily agitated. We have a combative inmate from earlier. He's banging on the walls. He's uh, pretty intoxicated, so we're going to move him to a smaller cell. And we're going to put on restraints to keep him from hurting himself. And he's banging his head, too, so we're going to go ahead and put a helmet on him. Get down. Get down on the ground. Once you calm down, we'll have the nurse check out your hand. Okay, but right now, 
as violent as you're acting right now, we can't, I'm not gonna put a nurse at risk. Once you show that you can calm down, we'll make sure that the nurse checks you out, man. You have power. You have power. For his protection, we went ahead and cuffed him up. But until he sobers up, he's going to be in that state. What do you want, man? You want to search me some more? Yeah. I didn't do nothing wrong, man. You got some public drunk on me? Beat me up. Put That's your abuse. hands down. OK, I got my hands down. I'm cooperating with you guys. Problem is, I want to kill that yeah, man. You know? Bring your right foot up, though, then see you, the bottom. Then never I wish he could make peace with me. He could tell me why he's got to be so damn abusive. Foot, Maybe, uh, you know, it can explain have, why he's got to touch me. It might have something after. to do with the way you talk to him. Maybe that's your problem. Turn around. There's no reason for this, man. This is not public drunk, you know. Look at these rings around my wrist. I understand. Do you really or do you? No, I see him a lot. Walk him a lot. that way. Do you want me to throw uh, happy number three in there? We placed the subject in the restraint chair because of its destructive nature. We use the chair probably once a week. Uh, public drunk? I'm just asking. Are you ready to quiet down, calm down? Why are you treating me like a criminal? Because you're banging your... Because, look, <clears throat> buddy, you got arrested by the Tulsa Police Department, okay? Okay, I just want to be let loose. You don't understand, man. I just want no, to let loose. No, listen, I don't have to understand, okay? I you mean, are the one that needs to understand. You have that power, honestly. You need to understand right now, okay? I'm going to get you out of the chair, all right? You're treating me like I'm getting looking at you. Did I not explain to you what you were doing? You were banging your head against the glass. Because I'm an innocent man. So innocent men try to hurt themselves. Is that what you're saying? Yes, I'm all right. I'm, I'm going to take yourself. you to court. It's great. I will take you to court. You know why? Because I am not guilty until proven that way. I didn't say you were guilty. All these okay. tricks like you either. Look at me, man. I can't even get up, man. Well, I'm innocent. Calm down a little bit, all right? I'm innocent man. Look, at, look what Turn they around, do man. in my head, Turn around, man. man. And a helmet on me like an idiot. Look, man, hurt my hands. That's what the police officers do. Chair out first. You came in like is that. that. Is that cuffs? And then I try to file a complaint on that one right here. But no way to listen to me. All right, you guys go. Leave me in here as long as you want. But I guarantee you, four days. Must be taking political science. People don't realize that a street officer makes contact with one individual at a time. I've got 40 individuals right now that I'm making contact with. All of them intoxicated, all of them under the influence. Something that has them off kill. So we have to be on our toes at all times. You can't arrest me for P.I., a simple P.I. I was on my second beer. Come on, man, be for real, man. That's wrong, man. My second beer, my second beer. Stupid. You know what he did? He came over to the bus stop there at Hot Mall. Me and a handicapped friend of mine were sitting there drinking a cold beer. I was fixing to catch my bus. Are you supposed to be drinking a cold beer out in public? Sir, I admit that I was wrong. Okay. I admit that I was wrong. But he also saw the crackheads there. Are and you going to do me? what? He came after me. He ain't got the balls to go pick this up. Dude. I bet he does. I bet he don't. I bet, you I don't. bet he don't. I bet you I don't. I bet he don't. Take it easy. Huh? I speak the truth. I'm not my father. I'm drinking two beers. So what, man? I speak the truth. I'm not my father. Okay. What, man? Get on him. Don't get on me, man. Okay. He comes here all the time. He's um, a special person. So when he sobers up, he'll be a little bit better. Not much, but a little bit. What do we have?
have here. Holy oh, smokes. Look at that. Hey, give me I'm that. Gonna, yeah. I'm going to put it in the bag for you there. Hey, Voto, well, that wasn't mine, man. <laughs> <laughs> Are those your old? <laughs> Dude, it's okay. Don't worry about Remember it, man. Remember when I asked if you had anything illegal? Man, I didn't have a moment thinking about that. Eh? Quit moving around. Quit being a butt. You had drugs on you. You got pop. Deal with it. All right, eh? You got me? The intake officers go ahead and pat him down. They ask, you got anything legal, anything sharp? Well, he forgets that he has pot tucked up in his groin area, and it falls out while he's being searched. So this fine officer right here is going to go ahead and add the charge, uh, possession of marijuana. But, you know, it happens all the time. These overalls were somebody else's. It's no big deal. Two beers. Two lousy beers. I should have been smoking crack, man. Just stand right here. At least they got away with it. That's, a, that, that's APD's whole problem, man. Hey, shut up. They see it. They see it. They see Come over here, sir. Come over here. I mean, you don't tell me to shut up, dog. Man. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, keep. Turn around. Gentlemen, man. Gentlemen, man. Watch out. I just. I don't care. And I wasn't going to bother you here in just a little bit. Just bring me the clothes. I'll dress them up. You're going to be next. You've nothing been been problem since you got in here. Right. You're going to be next. Michael, all right. Stop. How are you? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? I am blessed. Thank you. We're going to change you out down here, and then you, we're going to take you upstairs, OK? Step in there. Yes, sir. Sit down. Sit. Gordon. Hello? Sir, he walked up and talked to me like that, man. I, I did nothing. That's why you're going to change and you're going to go upstairs. I did nothing. You always do nothing. I know. We're going to change you out. You're going upstairs. You're you going walked upstairs. up and he disrespected me. Okay. That's wrong. It's his person. Wrong. Wrong. Thank you, Father, for my first arrest for tonight. Two lousy beers. Two lousy beers. Two lousy beers. All right, Mr. See you in the morning. All right, man. You have a good evening. All right, thank you, sir. Bye-bye. He says he's only had two beers, but he had two beers too many. Probably remain in our custody for up to six months. It'll give him time to, for his body to recuperate because these guys go at it every single day from the time they wake up to the time they pass out in the evening. Basically, we're saving their lives as best we can. Good afternoon. You're char charged, sir, with the offense of public intoxication. Is that yes, correct? Yes, ma'am. You have the right, Ms. Lee, guilty, not guilty, or no contest. First of all, do you understand that right? Yes, ma'am. And how do you choose to plea, sir? No contest. Take a plea of no contest, fine you guilty, so that you have 14 days in jail plus court costs. Do you understand that every time you get arrested for public intoxication, it's considered an enhanceable offense, you get to come down and see me? Yes, ma'am. And do you understand that if you choose to, to seek some sort of treatment at some point in time in the future, then hopefully then you won't be in that situation where you would be arrested? Yes, ma'am. Are you ready for that now? Ma'am. Are you ready for that now? Are you ready for, you want just the 14 days in Just court 14 days. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You're charged, sir, with the offense of possession of marijuana. You have the right, sir, to plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest. Do you understand that right? Yes, ma'am. How do you choose to plead? No contest. Plead in no contest to the charge of, of possession of marijuana. I'll find you guilty, sentence you to 10 days in court cost. The most important thing is for you to get your license reinstated when you get out and to stop smoking dope. I mean, you know, you're not going to be able to keep a job. You're not going to be able to keep your license. You're not going to be able to keep do anything if you continue to smoke marijuana on the side, you're right? right? You're right. So it's up to you what you decide to do ultimately with your life, but I'm just giving you that a bit of advice, and you can take it as, as, as you want it. Thank you, thank you. All right, good luck.
and the doors open up and they leave me outside and they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride now the night hits my face and it brings me to life oh lord now i'm out that jail tonight another night in my street another night in my hair now i'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight i'm gonna go home to my family tonight and the doors open up and they leave me outside i'm gonna go home to my family tonight